true that uh, we are dramatically missing uh, uh, respirators and uh, Air Liquide, who is leading the consortium, is a French producer. And the goal is to multiply by 25 the number of, uh, of a respirator that can be produced in the next six weeks. So we intend to multiply the production by 25 and to produce 10,000 respirators until mid of uh, next May. And it is a job that has been uh, leading, like I said, by, uh, by Air Liquide, and uh, we are participating, helping them to uh, increase their production. We are a mass producer, and uh, we're going to deal with uh, supply chain management. We're going to help them to put in place a very fast uh, production line in their factory in Antony, close to Paris. And we're going to uh, help them to produce some electronic parts and uh, plastic parts. So it's a, it's a job that has been, like I said, uh, done in a few days uh, and uh, with a trust uh, among uh, PSA, uh, Air Liquid, who is leading the consortium, Schneider and, uh, and Valley One. We are obviously very proud to be part of that. And these will, ventilators will be going toward French hospitals, I presume. Is there scope to uh, make these and distribute them more broadly? Obviously, countries around the world are facing shortages. And the first time uh, we have for the next few weeks production an order, Air Liquide has an order from the French government and the French hospitals. Mm -hmm. Of course, if we can uh, produce longer and we tend uh, to, to produce as long as we can, uh, we can export, but once again, uh, the uh, air liquid has the competence, uh, the products, uh, the pr products being homologated, and uh, we'll carry on working uh, under leadership of air liquid as long as we need to produce those uh, respirators. Uh, Jacques, very good to speak to you today. I hope you're well. Um, in terms of the broader auto industry, and I'm speaking more about the OEMs, who are your partners in many ways, more than companies such as yourself. Do you think now it is inevitable that we will see government bailouts across the board for the auto industry and a potential degree of nationalisation, but at a minimum, a high degree of state involvement in a sector which is seen as strategic for many? You know, what is happening, and you have seen the figures of the registration in March in France, which are down 72%, is that the surprise, since there is a confinement, is clear that the market will drop for a few weeks how many weeks? We don't know. It's the first time we see such uh, uh, health uh, crisis, uh, public crisis uh, in the world, and we don't know how long the uh, consequence of the economy will last. When we look at the automotive industry, we are in much better shape than we were 10 years ago when there was a crisis of 2008-2009. Most of our customers, are the tier one, has a good level of liquidity, and therefore we are able to uh, pass uh, the crisis. Uh, the problem will be how long it lasts. If you compare with what is happening in China, uh, the China has been stopped, totally stopped, and very similar reduction of the market in uh, February, and is step by step going, going back on, on, on stream. And the figures we are seeing for our own sales would be at the level of last year in May or June. So we see that in few months, the automotive industry in China is recovering. And uh, let's see what will happen in Europe, how long it lasts. And Europe and North America, long it lasts, and at what speed the, uh, uh, the automotive market will uh, start again. What is extremely important is that we need to prepare our plant, and we see that our customers are doing the same, to restart when it is possible. And we are putting in place a protocol. Health will be absolute priority for our teams to restart the production and restart it as fast as possible, as soon as it is possible, but uh, we have to restart sometimes, hopefully before the end of April. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.